Welcome back, guys. I'm back with another Odin Custom. This is also from Anthony, and it's kind of in a little bit of out of order of when he bought and, and how he made them and things like that. But this one is different. It's, it's really freaking cool. Not going to lie. And the beauty of it is Anthony custom ordered this the way he wanted it. Now, Odin Custom is kind of famous for that. Like that is, that's really what he enjoys. And if you missed the live stream that I did with him, I'll put a link to that uh, down below and up in the corner at the end where Jim, the owner of Odin Custom talks about that's kind of his favorite thing is working with the purchaser on what they want and how they want it. So this was entirely uh, Anthony's design uh, as far as the materials. This is the Spartacus model with a frame lock. And let's just get it out of the way. An awesome, crazy blade. Just zoom in. And I, I just, yeah. So it's, a, it's from Baker Forge. And it is a wrought iron raindrop shimmy shimmy she my shimmy she my I'm, I'm totally messing that up i'm sure but it's wrought iron a line of copper and some other hardenable steel like it's just it's crazy like it's just beautiful in a crazy way and zirconium uh, pivot collars that are kind of bark bark finished. So there's no fingerprints and whatnot. And a monochromed Timascus for the scales. I think it's the very first time I've ever seen monochrome Timascus on a knife. Zirconium pocket clip that's also bark kind of finished. It's smooth. There's no texture to it, but it's just Got kind of uh, brushed lines on it so that it doesn't get fingerprints. Zirconium generally is polished. And I'll pull an example out in just a second. And then it's a fingerprint freaking magnet. It looks great until you look at it wrong and it gets smudged. Beautiful Warncliffe blade if you're into that. Not really my style, the, the shape and all that of the blade. But the material is fantastic. It's the uh, Zirconium Backspacer also. And I'm kind of looking at my note. Yep. So all in all, this is beautiful. So Zirconium oftentimes, mostly, comes like this, polished, and you get smudges and fingerprints on it just by looking at it. So Anthony wanted something different and went with the barked finish. So it's more of a brushed matte finish, which I think looks great, and I prefer that um, in a knife. He also went with a thumb stud as well as a flipper tab. I think this would be really cool as a thumb stud only. Cut the flipper tab off, get a bigger finger choil, I think that would be killer configuration myself because I, I don't know, I'm kind of getting more, leaning more towards thumb studs than flipper tabs. I mean, I have a lot of each, but you know. Uh, the other thing that's very unique on this is the monochrome Timascus. Oftentimes, and I think most all the time, you're going to see Timascus heat treated and the different types of metal heat treat different and so it brings out the colors much like in this prototype um uh spartacus or in the olight flashlight that's timascus so that's generally how you see it so you don't you don't ever i don't know i've never seen it in just a monochrome color like this so they did not heat 
treat it. They don't really heat treat it. It's more of a heat anodize. It's not a heat treat like you heat treat a blade. It's not that kind of heat treating. Um, with a torch and certain color or certain temperature of heat will get you a different coloring on the material. Okay. So this is pretty much the same exact dimensions as the prototype version as far as length and blade length and all of that. It differs in the overall thickness being 0.526. This one was 0.7 something. Uh, and then the weight. This is at 6.2 ounces. This was at like three or four ounces because it's most, it's carbon fiber scales. But this one... I don't know. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'm not going to lie. And I love the blade design. Not the shape, but the materials are just incredible. So here's a couple of quick uh, size comparisons. The Sharpie. The Delica. Since I pulled out the Hellraiser. Give you a quick peek at that. And I got to wipe it all off now because the zirconium got all, you know, dinged up, smudged up. How about the VC Edge interface? This also has Timascus on the lock bar. And you can see that that is typically how you are going to get your Timascus. But without the heating, you get the monochrome, which is what Anthony really wanted to really have the blade pop. What I also think is cool is from the show side, you don't see that copper line at all. You can a little bit if you kind of angle it at a certain way and you're looking at it this way. Now on the lock side, yeah, you're going to see more of that copper come out just looking straight down at it. Um, and that's just, that's what you get with this type of material. It's hard to say, hey, I only want the copper so far up. So it's not perfectly symmetrical, but that's all part of the grinding process and whatnot. So I dig the blade for sure. So there you go. I will put a link up here to the live stream I did with Odin Customs and a link to my Odin Custom playlist over here. So you can go check out all of Anthony's other amazing Odin Customs. And there's one more left in the box that I need to film. And uh, that will probably be out tomorrow. Thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate it.